evening is coming. One of the city's upscale restaurants. Wow, is this really Hanu's restaurant? I can't believe we'll be dining at such an expensive restaurant. I heard that our corporate party will be attended by the chairman. Has he really decided to pay for our corporate party? Hmm, maybe. Does that mean that the chairman is coming to our party? Hmm, no way. Let's hurry up and get the best seats. Okay, can I join you? I'm a little shy about people I don't know. No, I think you're perfectly welcome to sit at another table and meet other teachers. Come on, he won. He said he was shy. Have a seat. Thank you very much. What? Wow. The chairman came here after all. Miss Joan, you haven't seen our chairman yet, right? He's very handsome. You'll see for yourself. Look, I've only seen him on TV and only from a distance. But even from a distance, he looks amazing. I'll never forget his face, said Miss Joan's friend. My God, this can't be happening. The chairman did come to a corporate event like this. Mr. Kang looked at Hee Won Jung. She was shocked to see him here. Why did he come here, I'm so mad. And why does he have such a fierce look? Hee Won, is everything okay? Jai Hoon put his hand on her shoulder. Hey, hurry up and take your hand away. Okay, I hear you. No problem. The director asked for a minute of your attention. I want to thank you all for coming to dinner to celebrate the start of the new school term. And instead of the principal's usual speech, the chairman will now say a few words. Let's listen to Mr. Khan's speech. You know, frankly, when I was in school, I hated speeches the most. So I don't think there's any need for one. Let's just get down to eating and just enjoy tonight. Thank you. Wow, that was short, but very cool. And I love the chairman's speech. Every time the principal's speech was like torture. So Mr. Khan's speech sounded like it was a cool breeze in the heat. How calm he is, wow. Well, yeah, no argument there. Du Jung Kang did nothing but glance in He Won Jung's direction. He Won, why aren't you eating? Try this. Can you shut up and eat your portion? Du Jung Kang keeps his eyes on He Won. Chairman, don't you like our food? Why haven't you tasted anything yet? No, the food is good. Tell me. Is the man who sits there also a teacher? Hmm, over there. Oh, you mean the man sitting next to Miss Jang? He's a teacher trainee from Young Won University. I see, so he's still only an intern. Hmm, she seems to prefer younger men. Mr. Kang, do you want me to call him here? Mr. Lee, come here, please. You called for me. As far as I know, you're a student at Myung Won University. Yes, I'm in my fourth year now. Please have a seat. Don't be nervous. I just want to talk to you and see how students are thinking these days. I hear you. So, do you agree that the older generation is influencing the younger generation through education because they're not ready to fit into society? I'm sorry, what? I see. Then, what do you think of the rude gesture of putting your hand on somebody's shoulder? The principal and Mr. Lee, in a slight misunderstanding of the situation, because of the question Mr. Khan asked. Du Jung Kang expects to hear the answer. Afterwards, he smiles. Relax, it was a joke. Ha ha ha, Chairman Kang, you know a lot about good jokes. Mr. Lee, would you like to drink some liquor? Yes, a little is fine, thank you. Let me pour you one then. No, that's all right. I'm driving today and I have to give someone a ride. So all I'm drinking today is water. Oh, I see. Then I'll just have a drink. Du Jung Kang pours Jae Hoon alcohol. Kang's look is completely unemotional. I admit, he scares me a little. Hmm, I might have done something wrong. Miss Jung, do you really not want a drink? I don't feel well, I probably won't drink today. Really? It's getting cold, and I'm afraid I might catch a cold. I should get going. Oh, then I'll go too. It's alright, don't worry about me, eat slowly. I think I'll be going. Ed, if you go, I'll have no one to talk to. Oh, the alcohol starting to kick in. That was fast. Here comes Mr. Lee back. So he'll keep you company. You can drink together. I will. That's what I'll do. Ham. Interesting. Miss Kim, I'll be honest with you. What's wrong? The thing is, Mr. Lee prefers to stay in hotels instead of traveling at all. Oh, I don't understand you. What are you talking about? 
he's completely irresponsible. What's more, he's a womanizer. Ha ha ha, really? You make me laugh. Miss Kim, I wasn't joking at all. Ha ha ha, that's really very funny. If a handsome man like Mr. Lee happens to be a womanizer, I don't care. I'll take him in with open arms. Ha ha ha. Do as you please. But I warned you, he's a man without principles. I'm still laughing from what you told me. That's so sweet of you, but Miss Jung, don't worry about me. Just don't run to me in tears later to tell me what an asshole Mr. Lee is. Have a good night. Okay, be careful on your way home. Hmm, why is it so cold? It's already spring. Are you going home already? Oh, you scared me. I'm sorry for scaring you. Oh, it's okay. He won didn't hear him coming. I'm going home now. Let me give you a ride in my car. No need, thank you, I'll drive myself. Du Jung Kang saw that He Won was shivering from the cold and quickly put on her jacket. Miss Jung, have you by any chance done many bad things? You are so easily frightened. Mr. Kang, you never cease to amaze me. I can see you're cold. Just keep your jacket on. He Won just looked at Du Jung Kang in silence. Tell me, what are you doing here? I really am. I didn't know where to go. To be honest, I got lost. Um, great. The point is, I'm very bad at navigating. So this happens a lot when I'm in unfamiliar places. God, what did I just say to him? I see. I, on the other hand, am very good at navigating and finding the right paths. I don't want to brag, but I'm so skillful that I find the right ways where there shouldn't be any at all. Let's not keep standing here. Let's go to my car. I don't think we need to. In case you haven't realized it yet, but I only came here for you. He Won was surprised at Du Jung Kang's words. I take it you didn't have a desire to talk seriously after thinking about it thoroughly. No, we really need to have a serious talk. Then let's go to my car. Don't forget, it's cold outside, you might get sick. Just don't think I want my jacket back. Yeah, okay. Let's hurry up. We don't want anyone to see us together. Miss Jung, even if you suddenly have topographical cretinism, I think you should remember your address, don't you? Relax, it was only a joke. Tell me, the proposal I made this morning, did you even think about it? I'll tell you straight, I don't want to marry you, Mr. Chairman. In case you've forgotten, my name is Kang Du Jung. Excuse me, I say that my name is not Mr. Chairman or Kang Du Jul, but Kang Du Jun. I'm aware of that. You keep saying it every time we meet. Is your name that important to you? The thing is, you called me Du Jewel today, and so I thought I'd remind you. I didn't call you Du Jewel. Then who did? That's the baby's name. What did you say? I'm sorry, but how can you choose a baby's name by yourself? In case you've forgotten, it's my baby, Mr. Khan. Actually, half of it is mine. Du Jun Kang didn't like it. He decided to stop the car. He one didn't understand it. Do you have any proof? Can you prove that I'm not the father of the child? Why are you doing this? I told you that you are not the father of my child. Because I find that hard to believe. I don't understand why you're doing all this. If anything, at least show me your fiancé, although I don't think there is one. Honestly, I can't believe that's the baby's name. What? Why don't you like the name Du Joel? Well, there are so many beautiful names in the world, but you chose Du July, why do you want to give my baby such a weird name? You know, it's just weird. It feels like you're a math or art teacher. I'm a Korean language teacher. I've already decided that my baby's name will be Da Chol. Do you understand, Mr. Kang? I can't believe he cares so much about our baby's name. I'm very angry. Du Jun Kang tries to contain his emotions. Okay, it's okay. What's fine? Frankly, I'm not exactly happy that our baby's name will be Du July, but still, it's your wish. Du Jewel can be our baby's name. Actually, I didn't mean by ours you and me. It was a general ours. I'm talking about what our means, where a person is just talking about themselves and the people around them, not the person who is listening. Hmm, you really are a language teacher. But the point is that the only one around you in the car is me. And the word our you said includes me, that is, the listener. So there's no point in arguing that I'm right. Du Jol is our child. Listen to me, 
You don't happen to be doing a project of procreation or anything else, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. That's exactly what you don't understand. If a girl says no, isn't that the end of the conversation? I just told you that I don't want to bother you. It's strange to end a conversation this way. What makes you think you're bothering me? Is that all you wanted from me? Have you forgotten already? I want to marry you. No, you must have forgotten. I already told you no. But why? Do you really hate me that much? Hmm, hate him. I wonder if any girl in this world can say she likes that face and body. But a wedding is something else entirely. Can I ask you why you don't want to marry me? But we don't know anything about each other. You know, there's a critical error in your statement. I'm well aware of your interest in the underprivileged. I know the names of the books you read, I know the genres of music you listen to, and so on. By the way, I know where your erogenous zone is which makes you insanely horny. When I fondle your earlobe, you breathe hard and you're ticklish, but when I touch your thighs… Okay, that's enough. Can you skip that part? Unfortunately, we spent most of our time relating only to this topic. And that's the only thing I enjoyed. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't understand why you have such a reaction. Please stop. Let's stop on the fact that we know almost nothing about each other. Understand that anyway, we don't know enough about each other to get married. We can do it gradually though. And moreover, we get along very well in one particular subject. You know which one. How do you not understand that a wedding is a family that is made with love? You do not love me and I do not love you. And these primitive instincts will soon disappear. What's the problem? Let's start there then. What? Where do we start? Love. Let's start there. 